Hello, my name is Andy. I'm from Sheffield Village, Ohio, and this is my 1979 Chevy van. Uh, I'm the original owner, bought it in Washington State, and uh, yeah, so when I bought the van, it was uh, actually $7,067, and uh, the dealership had extras that I could put on it, and I had the flares put on at the dealership, I had the rack put on, I had a ladder, which I don't have no more, and uh, yeah, that's about it. And, and the front spoiler, that was added on there. And the portholes that Chevy, Chevy put on also. Oh, yeah. Which was, I think, another 500 bucks or something. It wasn't very much back then. So uh, it didn't have no radio. It's completely uh, stripped out, nothing inside. It's got a 350 motor. But uh, all can, now after everything's done, I had to put a blueprint motor in it. It's got 390 horse. Uh, put a 700R4 in it. Uh, it's got a lockout torque converter, 373 gears. Uh, it's got a Detroit True Track uh, with limited slip differential and uh, 30 spline axles. So it's uh, been painted. I used to use it for work, and, uh, but I never had it in the salt or anything like that and uh, just needed it for, for work. So I've uh, always been a vanner since uh, 78. Had a 73 Dodge at the time and uh, ended up with this so but I still have it and I love it and I'm not gonna ever sell it probably till the day I die. <laughs> nice, nice. Now what size rooms you got on this? and what are they? Those are uh, actually those are eights in the front, tens in the back, those are uh, 60s, uh, I think they're 245 60 15s and 275 uh, 60 15s in the back. I was going to put 235s on there, but the guy told me not to because it has something to do with the weight. So they went with the 245s. So I, uh, yeah, put those on there. And they're, they're a good tire, nice wide tire. They look good. Okay, so, uh, yeah, I added this grill because uh, I think a bird or something ran into the other one and busted the crap out of it. So uh, I got a steel one, so a bird can't go through it now. Uh, yeah, so, uh, so I did add this visor. A uh, little ball cap visor to it uh, years ago. I got it out there in California. And uh, what I did to the top, because the van was uh, rusted up pretty good, uh, it didn't have, I never drove it in salt or anything like that. But what I did is, is I added the, uh, the sunroof and I rhino coated or bed lined the whole top because I, I thought that would, it's and it's smooth too. And I, I thought that would uh, give more of like years ago, they used to vinyl the tops. Mm -hmm. So that's the kind of effect that I wanted to get. Plus, it's it's so hard up there now. I ain't never got to worry about it. So, uh, like I said, I put a, a blueprint motor in it. It's got it's a 350, but it's got the Vortec heads, and I got that from Summit. And it's uh, it's a, a long block, and I put the ceramic coated headers on it, Holly carburetor, mm. and it was 390 horse. So I ain't got any problem with uh, pep anymore that thing just to uh, get up and, and go yeah uh, especially with the 700 r4 in there very nice yeah nice. looks great this this actually came off of a newer van because mine used to be over here the bottle was over here oh so i removed that because i thought this would give me some more room mm -hmm. so i moved it over to here and uh, actually any of these chevy vans like that still have these holes in them even way back in the day because I think, uh, I don't have air conditioning, so the air conditioner bottle was over here oh, for, okay. for yeah. 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 Excellent. Okay, this here, it reminds me of my old dog. Oh. Okay, so I had a Samoyan for 15 years, and she loved the band. Yeah. And she's, you know, passed now, so I had to give her this is her side. Oh, that's cool. So that Very reminds cool. me of her. That's cool. Okay. Yeah, I like it. Okay, let's take a look and see what you got inside here. So now the inside. Okay, now this, this here, mm -hmm. I actually seen on another van, this guy had wood all over this. Mm -hmm. And I was kind of wondering how he put these in, you know, being that it was so thick. Yeah. So when I looked at his, I seen that he actually tapped these out. Oh. And drilled it, oh, okay. so I don't have to worry about the uh, what you call it that keeps flying off. Mm. So that's what I did. You got to get a good drill, 
a good tap. You tap that out, you drill these things out, and it's... There you go. You ain't got to worry about getting that out. When I want to pull these off, I just unscrew it. Nice. Nice. So anybody else that needs to do that, mm -hmm. it's That's very easy. Right it's there. very yeah. easy. Good tip. Yeah, the inside looks nice. In the... Now you got the, the captain's chairs, of course. Yeah, these are from another van. The other ones were, uh, actually I want to get these dyed, you know, either a different color or I'm going to get some new ones, but they're comfortable. Uh, they work well for me, you know, because it's, it's a usable van. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, Actually, all this material in here, all this stuff that I did the door panels with, oh, yeah. I, bought, I, I bought that stuff in uh, like 1982. I bought a big roll of this stuff mm -hmm. and it was sitting up in my barn for probably over 30 years wow. until I brought it back out and I made some new panels for the front doors mm -hmm. and I did these. So I wish I had more of it. I cannot find any more that's like that. It's a Nahogahyde. And it's real thick, so I, I cannot find that anymore. But this, this here, okay, this here, a lot of times these, yeah, okay, come all the way out. They're like this. They sit on top. Okay. Okay. So what I did is I, I, I ground all this out, and I made it fit right inside. So it just. Oh yeah, there you go. So yeah. it just slips right in there. It locks in. You know, if you ever got anything to hide, you could put it in there. <laughs> there you go. You know, so it's kind of like a little, right it's kind of a little hiding spot. <laughs> yeah, right. Ah, uh, yeah. You could use a CD player, a Boss CD. Yeah, it's a Boss CD. Uh, it's actually hooks. I got a uh, backup camera. Mm -hmm. I could actually put uh, chips in here, uh, different types of uh, DVD player. I got it hooked up so I could actually watch movies while I'm driving. Nice. And I could actually watch the back of my van while I'm driving. Mm -hmm. cool. and, yeah, and it, it wasn't very expensive and it works out. It's got all the options on there and it works It works great. Excellent. Got an amplifier, put it on the inside. It'll just blow your socks off. Nice. And you got the classic wooden dash. Yeah, I found these. I found this someplace and I uh, cleaned it all up, restained it and everything like I did this, mm -hmm. like I did that. And uh, it works for me. I didn't really want to put it on there because I thought it would mess all this up, you mm -hmm. know, the black. Yeah. But I think it looks better, yeah. looks especially nice. with the wood. And this I just use for storage and stuff. Mm -hmm. Maybe one day I'll clean it all up, put some stuff. I got my GPS, which I need because I'm always lost. <laughs> we all. <laughs> you know. Where are we all? Yeah. Well, okay, we'll take a look at the inside. So, uh, actually, I, I found this little cabinet. Hmm along the side of the road, <laughs> to tell you the honest truth. And I thought, well, that would fit just perfect right where I need it. Mm -hmm. And I put my clothes and stuff and I got my little drawer right there. So it works out great for me. Uh, it's not so cluttered up, I can't use. Mm -hmm. And then behind there, I use the, the cedar panel and that's actually uh, a cooler behind there. Oh yeah. So I, I put my cooler back there that kind of hides it all off. Mm -hmm. And then all of this is all cedar. It's all done in cedar. Oh. It's all lap cedar. And uh, I had to remove it about three years ago. Ooh. I cleaned it all up, re-insulated everything, and put it all back up. It, there's no, it's all natural. There's no stain or anything else on it. Yeah. Uh, so uh, I got that off of a, a job site one time. Actually, the guy was they were throwing it all out, and I picked it all up. Wow. So That's a great find there. <laughs> yeah, it was. So. And you got your bed here? Yeah, I got the bed here. I got some strip lights in the back. Mm -hmm. I got some uh, LED lights underneath the bed, mm -hmm. which I could turn on. And then I found this material for the thing was for the burning van oh, for yeah. the Nationals. Yeah, yeah. So I had to have something for the burning van <laughs> thing. So at night, when I light the LEDs up, the, the, it, this shines out like like a, like a flames yeah. coming in there, like fire. So mm -hmm. it works out. It worked out good for me. And, and then of course you have storage under there as well. Yes, I have my storage mm -hmm. under there. So what I wanted to have storage under there so I could get to it from the inside. Mm -hmm. I don't want to block it all off so I can't get to things. Because yeah. you know, it's a small van. Mm -hmm. You want to be able to use as much as you can. So uh, stereo LEDs in the uh, speakers in the back, those light up. And I have to show you those little muffs up there. See those little muffs? Yeah. <laughs> those are actually my wife's earmuffs. 
Really? Okay. Yeah. So I took him off. She was looking for her earmuffs one day. And uh, I says, <laughs> she's seen him in the nice. van. She goes, what are you doing with the earmuffs up there? Well, that's where all the wood transitions together. Oh, okay. And yeah. I could not figure out how to keep it where it looked right. Looking nice, yeah. So I put the little earmuffs up there to hide everything. There you go. Yep. You got one on that side and one on this side. Yep. Yeah. Good idea. There's another good idea, see? Yes. A lot of great ideas. They're out there. Yeah. That nice carpeting on the floor. Yeah, I put this blue on there. This has all been redone, but I don't want I don't want to hurt this, mm -hmm. you know, the, the red. Yeah, when you're camping, you want to have something you can yeah. throw on top. Yeah, so I just, I picked this up someplace and then uh, just threw it in there with the blue. Eventually, I want to, like I said, get the seats redone and then maybe take the blue out of there. Mm -hmm. uh, down the road, there's always something. So here's the back of the van. These are, like, of course, this is all cedar. It's all natural tongue and groove cedar. And, uh, so anyways, I, I, I had to rebuild the whole bed again because I, I stripped everything out and everything. But this here is also hiding my storage. And uh, I don't know if you want to look underneath there, yeah, but all sure. my storage oh, is underneath there. I got all, yeah, I got a spare. I got all, all, all stuff. the stuff yeah. in there. Mm -hmm. This, of course, you got to have that because every when you, time you get on your knees, knees. you know, you got to have something to, to hold everything down. Oh, yeah. So I don't. That's perfect. And then underneath here is just a weight. And actually, all this is is a copper piece of tubing oh, to yeah. keep to keep it down. It keeps it nice and straight. Yeah, so it's it's all good. Yeah, it works. Shot of the inside from the back here. Yeah, that's beautiful. Wow. Oop says everybody wants to fire up their van, so I'm firing up mine. <laughs> 